What's up everybody back with another fair shake review this time We're gonna be getting into an artist that I kind of like had like a small eye on ever since like one of the songs played in my store And I was like, let me check out this dude because this song golden wings is so dope This is Gabriel Garzon Montano and um, his new project Aguida. Um, so yes, um, the new project um, has um, a couple of the singles that he ended up promoting on Colors, which got him uh, some more attention. Um, so it, uh, he on there he ended up performing uh, Someone, Bloom, and Aguida. Um, but let me just say. Um, uh, Gabriel uh, GGM, I'm going to just say GGM since he always likes to uh, sh shorten it by his initials. GGM is definitely uh, a, a very eclectic artist. Um, he is, uh, it seems, from N New York, um, but he has um, some Latin roots. Unfortunately, I do not recall which country in particular um, his uh, ethnicity would belong to, but um, but yeah, so he has like some bits of like funk and soul, then kind of get like some singer songwriter vibes, some experimental kind of almost jazz type stuff in there, and then you also get like uh, Latin trap <laughs> in there as well. So it's just like you you can get a, a like almost anything from from the dude it's it's a uh, uh, quite a mixed bag and and that's somewhat what you kind of get from here um, the thing that I noticed though in my opinion is that when he is uh, performing in English um, usually his lyrics tend to be a little bit more poetic in nature uh, less less uh, less direct and a little bit more uh, vague and metaphorical at times um, and sometimes that works in his favor, um, you know, it's, it's, especially since sometimes it can be a little more allegorical, if that's an actual word, um, with more allegory to say it properly, if allegorical is not a word. <laughs> um, and then when he does more of the, the Latin Spanish, uh, you know, speaking tracks, it's definitely... Uh, way more direct and also um, easier to vibe to. Even though, you know, I am not fluent in Spanish, I do understand quite a bit. So I, I can still attest to the fact that it's usually not as um, vague <laughs> with the way that the, you know, the lyrics are presented. Um, but yeah, so sometimes it comes off really really pretty and other times it just it doesn't quite work so like um, going through the track list here things that are, are just don't quite click for me things like tombs uh, fields uh, the, those ones there it's just like I, it's very an odd good you know like the guitar and soundscape is interesting enough but um, nothing uh, in the the delivery or the words are like enough to like keep me really engaged throughout it and be like, "Ooh, I really want to hear this again." Um, but stuff like with a smile, um, someone moonless, and including even the longest track, "Blue Dot," um, are very experimental and you know full of interesting uh, piano uh, riffs um, maybe even like some experimental kind of electronic glitches sometimes you may get some uh, extra like 808 basses halfway through the song or you get some cool string arrangements uh, added later on like these songs are just very um, interesting production wise and also lyrically it, it isn't as distra distracting and also he delivers 
his, like his singing delivery on them are also just very easy on the ears and it's just like ooh the way you the way you hit that his tone when he sings um, these songs in English is so vastly different than the way he um, you know deepens his voice especially when he's speak when he's singing the Spanish spoken songs um, so even the Spanish speaking songs are kind of really dope too um, uh, Muñeca and Aguita the the two main ones uh, are just they, they just got that vibe that just just like yeah I could definitely play this and just like vibe out um, and then uh, the only exception to that is Mira My Look um, which is actually a bilingual song because if I remember correctly the 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 verses are in the verses I believe are in Spanish and the chorus is um, kind of uh, Spanglish. Um, I, I could be wrong um, because it's been been a, a, a hot minute and I didn't double check to like re-listen to the whole thing. Um, but from my memory, just the way it, it came off it was just you know talking about fashion um, throughout. Um, it, it, because he definitely is a, 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 as well as a, <laughs> eclectic dresser. Um, he definitely has his own sense of style, which you can definitely see in like the colors presentation, which I'll probably have linked on the blog for you to check out. Um, but yeah, he's, he's definitely a very uh, just ecle eclectic individual, and the way he presents that. Uh, you know as aspect of himself in this song didn't quite do it for me um but overall um i still feel that he's extremely talented um and and doesn't get enough attention that he deserves but i understand that he his style isn't necessarily for everyone and so he, what will really like make him help him cross over if he ever is, what really wants to would be the little bit more catchy stuff which all happens to be a little bit more on the Latin trap side I feel like a lot of those songs would be very very easy to catch on and become a hit um, but um, there's other stuff that he ends up doing in English could also be very interesting in certain uh, circles um, that would appreciate it um, like someone and um, if I remember correctly I think it's Moonless um, that um, aren't too far from the the norm that you would end up hearing I feel like those could also find a good place where it can get a good amount of spins and attention but um, yeah I really uh, enjoy him as an artist even though I didn't enjoy the whole entire project itself I still would recommend it to anyone who uh, enjoys listening to stuff um, with you know a bit of daring when it comes to uh, soundscapes and such. Unfortunately, I don't have any really good comparisons to let you know a bit of the vibe. Um, uh, all I can say is that you should check it out. Um, the, the closest thing that I'd be able to say is maybe like a couple of tracks from maybe like, like Hiatus Coyote maybe. Um, and who else? Who else could I possibly compare him to I don't know um, but either way I think he's dope and very talented um, some of the uh, Esperanza Spalding tracks too like think around uh, the the um, exposure like some of the exposure stuff slash uh, 12 spells 12 little spells some of that stuff I feel like it possibly can be comparable to some of the stuff that he does um, but yeah so if that sounds like somewhat around your wheelhouse give him a listen um, definitely the Latin trap stuff is gonna sound like a lot of the Latin trap stuff um, but yeah that's my thoughts tell me what you guys think if you've checked it out um, and yeah that's it much love peace threes